I was looking for camps that would teach kids STEM topics, not just have kids come and do fun activities for the summer. But one of the ones that jumped out to me was the shipwreck camp. Hi, I'm Patrick O'Donnell, a correspondent for the 74 million based out of Cleveland, Ohio. Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland has been running a camp about shipwrecks for students for the last eight to ten years. Well, earlier in the week, we had a visit from uh, a marine archaeologist. Where students learn the science of, of the Great Lakes, they learn about the ecology of the Great Lakes, they learn about waves, they learn about the shipwrecks that have happened out there over the years, and then they get a chance to try and go out and actually try and see a shipwreck in person. They build underwater cameras but they'll build frames out of PVC pipe and they'll be able to send down into the, into the water when they find shipwrecks that can take video of them at depths that kids can't go in and stay under for a very long time. They took a day, the end of July, and they went out to Kelly's Island, which is one of a series of habitable islands a little bit off the coast of, of Lake Erie. Kelly's Island is about four miles square, about four miles north of the Lake Erie coast and they knew that there were a couple of shipwrecks just a few hundred yards apart, not very far off the coast at all. They searched for most of the afternoon and couldn't quite find them. And then they were gonna send down the cameras. There was lots of seagrass and lots of silt. Unfortunately, they didn't get a really good fix on the spot. They got a lesson in how science is, a lot of science is trial and error. The camp to me was really successful in really drawing the kids in. When I visited, students were all really actively engaged in the different lessons that they were learning to prepare to go out to look at the ship. They were all working really hard and they were really, really engaged. And that to me was really nice to see.